For the past several years, Drew Barrymore has been dividing her time between a modest apartment on New York's Park Avenue and a charming residence in the Hamptons. Recently, the actress and talk show host decided to list her converted barn estate in the exclusive Saga Pontiac area for just under $8.5 million. Records show that Drew purchased the 1.7 acre property for $5.5 million in 2019. The Hamptons estate features a farmhouse style home with nearly 6,900 square feet of living space, including six beds and five baths. The interiors are accented with rustic hard hardwood floors, high exposed beam ceilings, and French doors that create seamless indoor-outdoor spaces. Additionally, there's a separate one-bedroom, one-bath guest cottage with its own living room and office area, accessible via an oversized roof deck. Originally built over a century ago, the wood shingled structure has been extensively renovated during Barrymore's ownership as well. Drew Barrymore, born on February 22, 1975, has grown from a child star into a versatile actress, producer, director, author, and talk show host. Drew first captured the hearts of audiences worldwide as Gertie in Steven Spielberg's 1982 sci-fi classic, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Despite her early success, her childhood was marred by struggles with fame and personal challenges. However, Barrymore's resilience and talent saw her through tough times, and she successfully transitioned from child star to accomplished actress in films like The Wedding Singer, Never Been Kissed, and Charlie's Angels. Barrymore's family life is deeply rooted in Hollywood history. She's the granddaughter of legendary actor John Barrymore and the daughter of actor John Drew Barrymore. Despite a tumultuous relationship with her parents, Drew has always valued the importance of family. In her personal life, Barrymore has been married three times, with her third marriage to art consultant Will Koppelman bringing her the greatest joys of her life, her two daughters, Olive and Frankie. Olive, born in 2012, and Frankie, born in 2014, are the center of Drew's world. Her commitment to her daughters is evident in how she balances her career with motherhood, striving to provide them with a stable and loving home environment. Drew Barrymore's home life is a blend of practicality and charm reflecting her down-to-earth personality and creative spirit. Drew has often shared glimpses of her home life on social media and her talk show, The Drew Barrymore Show. Her home is full of personal touches, from cozy reading nooks to a kitchen where she loves to cook with her daughters. She's also created a space that fosters creativity and family bonding, emphasizing the importance of spending quality time together. It seems that this summer, Drew Barrymore is kicking off the season by listing her stunning home in the Hamptons. The charming yet unpretentious residence, located in the exclusive Sagapanyak Enclave, is being listed at just under $8.5 million. The 1.7 acre property features a 1920s barn that has been transformed into the ultimate vacation retreat. In addition to the nearly 6,900 square foot main residence, Drew's home includes a separate one bedroom guest house providing ample space for friends and visitors. While the property doesn't offer direct beach access, it boasts a pool, pool house, bocce court, and an oversized roof deck, ensuring plenty of summer fun. Barrymore's home is quintessentially celebrity, but its style might surprise some. Known for her bold and sunny aesthetic, the actress has opted for a coastal grandmother energy for this home. Rumor has it that Barrymore remodeled the property after purchasing it in 2019 for $5.5 million observing authentic details like the wooden beams and floors while adding her own touch. From low slung ceilings to exposed wooden beams, her Hamptons area retreat exudes cozy vibes from the moment you step inside. The estate features a farmhouse style main home with six bedrooms and five bathrooms, also characterized by rustic hardwood floors and French doors for a seamless indoor-outdoor flow. The large living room manages to be both warm and airy thanks to large French doors and a brick stacked fireplace perfect for cool summer nights. Her terracotta tile kitchen is equipped with glass front cabinets, butcher block countertops, stainless steel appliances, and an Eden Island. A see-through divider separates the kitchen from a breakfast nook and a great room. Barrymore's Hamptons home is full of charming nooks and crannies, including this sweet pink room. The various textures from the patterned rug to the paneled walls add depth to the monochromatic space. 
One of the home's bathrooms is a white color palette with wooden details, and this creates an indoor-outdoor feel in the private sanctuary. The oversized roof deck is perfect for sunbathing, and on a clear day, you might even feel a nostalgic connection to Drew's iconic film, E.T. Also on the property, there's a separate one-bedroom, one-bath guest cottage with its own living room and office area, accessible from an oversized roof deck. Additional highlights include a pink hue dining area with a window seat and skylight and a primary suite that opens right up to a private patio. The picturesque grounds are a standout feature featuring rolling lawns, specimen trees and gardens. Amenities include a swimming pool with nearby pool house, a bocce court and several spots for entertaining. Additionally, the Atlantic Ocean is less than a mile away, adding to the property's allure. Another highlight of the outdoor space might just be the 30K dream playhouse that Drew installed for her two daughters. This castle-inspired structure boasts two separate sections, with swings hanging in between, as well as ladders, climbing walls, and several slides, all of varying heights. When Drew isn't living in the Hamptons, she also has an apartment in New York City where she spends most of her time, and she continues to offer fans glimpses inside this residence as well. Surprisingly, Drew's apartment appears quite modest or normal for a Hollywood star. On her talk show, Drew even shared the kitchen renovation she participated in at her apartment and was proud that she was so hands-on in the process. One of the most unique features of the kitchen is the yellow, blue, and white floral wallpaper that Barrymore discovered during the demolition. She decided to preserve a section above the painting she's had for years. I had to leave it. It was a moment in someone else's life many years ago. I had to honor it, she explained. It is also so darn cheerful. In a video shared on TikTok, Barrymore showed some cabinets that she had tidied up as part of her spring cleaning routine. Fans in the comments were taken aback by the simplicity and size of Drew's kitchen, pointing out how normal it was. Now, this isn't the first time that Drew has been praised online for her seemingly modest living arrangements. In a TikTok video where she shared her joy about staying home, she captioned, I love staying in, which featured multiple clips of her cooking, eating, dressing up, and relaxing. This video offered fans a peek into her NYC apartment too. In that video, the size of her kitchen once again caught people's attention. Fans aware of Barrymore's popularity expected a larger cooking space. The conversation about her modest looking home began when Barrymore posted a video on Instagram watching The Wedding Singer, the 1998 movie that she starred in with Adam Sandler. Fans remarked on how they love how modest her house is and how her apartment is so casual. They particularly focused on the size of her TV and how small it was. After checking out Drew Barrymore's homes, we can see how relatable she can be and why fans love that about her. From her modest New York City apartment to her charming Hamptons estate, each home exudes warmth, simplicity, and a touch of her unique style. Whether she's engaging with fans on TikTok or spending quality time with her daughters, Drew Barrymore continues to inspire with her genuine spirit and heartfelt connection to her surroundings. That wraps up our house tour for today, but before we go, try and answer this question for me. What surprised you the most about Drew's modest, down-to-earth apartment? And why? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss a tour. I'm Kara. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to chat because I love getting to know you guys and I'll see you all in another one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.